Are you supportive of the plans and timetable for withdrawal of American troops <clears throat> from Afghanistan? First of all, we have to say I'm out of date. I've been out of government for over four years. I've not had a chance to talk to General Petraeus, who left there and went to the CIA, and nor have I had a chance to talk to his successor, General Allen. I know them both. They're both capable men. I am a little uncomfortable with setting deadline dates that are tied only to a calendar as opposed to events on the ground. I do think that the we have to recognize that Afghanistan is not the United States. It is a country that's poor. Uh, they have a large illiteracy pop illiterate population. They have neighbors that are, in many cases, not very helpful to them. They speak multiple languages. It's tribal in nature. And I think we have to have a healthy respect for what we as Americans really can't do. I think the idea that we can nation build in other countries is highly debatable. The, the reality is that, that those people have to build their nation. And they're going to do it in a way different from the way we did it. And our tendency is to think of ourselves today and say, well, they're not like us. We ought, they ought to be more like us. And, and yet their circumstance, their culture, their background is so notably different from ours. And think of our, what we navigated through as a people. We, we had a horrible, horrible, horrible civil war. We, we, hundreds of thousands of hum, um, Americans were killed. We had slaves into the 1800s. We had women not voting into the 1900s. We're different today than we were then. And Afghanistan and the people of Afghanistan are going to evolve in a way that fits their neighborhood, that fits their circumstance, and fits their culture. And I don't think we, we ought to think that we can remake them in our image, because I just don't think it's likely.